Welcome to Clips and Cut, my dear friends. Today, uh, I wanted to talk about Centa Medical's uh, Pulse Oximeter. Uh, this is um, basically a dual color OLED pulse oximeter, uh, which is used on your fingertip to measure your blood oxygen saturation monitor, um, and which is your SpO2 and comes with a case and a battery and a linear um, so we'll do the unboxing on that side and then we can talk about this more i got this way back in uh, january uh, of this year uh, for uh, 24 dollars and 95 cents and now uh, the price is 18 dollars and 95 cents so which has gone down by six dollars uh, but it's always uh, good to have this around because we don't know when we might need this hopefully nobody needs this uh, but uh, it's always a good option to measure your blood um, oxygen uh, levels and your pulses and um, etc so yeah friends uh, let's do the unboxing for santa medicals pulse oximeter uh, that's manufactured for Guren products llc which is a company based out of uh, Tustin, California in USA. Uh, that's your SpO2 working voltage, which is running on DC 2.2 volts uh, and 3.4 volts. Um, runs on two common 1.5 volts AAA batteries. And that's your range and that's your accuracy now the fingerprint pulse uh, oximeter is a non-invasive device intended for the spot check of oxygen saturation of arterial hemoglobin which is spo2 and the pulse rate of uh, the user this device is not intended for continuous monitoring this device is for sports and or aviation use only that's the model number uh, which is your sm519brbl color is black transport and storage temperature which is minus 10 c to 50 c minus 50 c i don't know transport and storage humidity is 10 to 90 percent transport and storage atmospheric pressure is that and of course it's made in china so let's open this up all right that's a very nice case to begin with very nice sturdy case with your hook for your belt or whatever with that on the top comes with of course the manual and stuff and that's your small little uh, band to attach it with this one Or maybe on the inside okay so that's your oximeter these are the batteries that it comes with and this one it's very light I will say this is very very light and it is of course slightly there's no metal I think it's all plastic uh, this is not a button and neither is that um, this is your start and stop these are the grips for you to do that and of course that's where you put your finger in and then start and do the reading and that's the compartment uh, what does this say that's the model number with um, the other stuff let's open 
this okay nice small little compact compartment i like the design i like the the weight of this let's see how this performs uh, let's put in the battery so let's do this uh, and check the reading As you can tell, the oxygen levels are 98, right? With the pulse reading BPM or beats per minute is 87. And it is doing that in real time, 87, 88, 85. It's fluctuating between that, um, which is an excellent thing. And it gives a side reading of that sort. I, uh, maybe that's the graph for the pulse or the way your heart beats. Uh, the PI uh, percentage 9.1, I don't know what that stands for and what is that used for. Uh, but this one was uh, the primary one, which I got this device for. And hopefully this will help you or whoever is watching or whoever is planning to buy. Make your decision based off of these three readings. If you want something more than this, you can go for other products um, or other meters and uh, I'll see you on the other side. So yeah friends, as you saw the Santa Medical's uh, pulse oximeter fingertip reader is a very good budget option. There are other ones also which are for different kind of budget range and uh, different kind of readings. Uh, but this one did exactly what I wanted it to do and it fell in my budget and uh, hopefully it will help you too. Uh, so yeah, um, rather than spending your money other in other places, save some money, get this, get the thermometer, which is in the other uh, video. And hopefully this will help you guys. And uh, if you guys like the video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. Uh, and if you have any comments uh, or questions, leave them in the comment section and I will see you in the next one. Peace out. Bye-bye.